please don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Okay? Just calm down. Breathe. Breathe. Don't fall. Okay? Just breathe. guys so if you follow me on twitter you must have seen a tweet where i talked about my seat so my seat got broken and i want to get a new one i mean it's not completely damaged but i just really need to get a new one today i'm going to be talking about this is just basically an appreciation video to God for bringing me this far because it hasn't been easy. I graduated senior secondary school in 2012. My jam, I got two or three, didn't get admission. 2012, I applied for nursing. I'll never forget my dad telling me, oh, so you want to apply for nursing? You're going to be cleaning the poo, poo of patients in the hospital. Is that what you want to do? Don't you want to command respect like a doctor? I remained, you know, firm, obstinate. I'm like, yes, dad, I want to study nursing. I wasn't, ex I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't sure of what I was going to study, but I just want to study professional course. Please don't fall. So I applied for nursing anyways. I didn't get the admission at UNICEF. 2013, I applied at ANSI for medicine. I didn't get some. That was when my parents decided to enroll me in this pre-science program. When I was there, I applied for a geography. Well, I didn't get into medicine. And then the third time, it was the third time, right? The third time, that was when I enrolled in the pre-science program. And then I applied for a geography, but I didn't get it. So my mom decided to do change of course and she's like, Hmm, why not try nutrition and dietetics? You know, it's gradually becoming a lucrative course and I think you should go for it. Meanwhile, the second time I got to 7-3 in jab. Then the third time I got to two and at this point I was ex I was exhausted, like standardized tests were exhausting. Like I've tried, I've tried, right? Three times. You know, I was just fed up with it. So the third time when I wrote jump. I was already tired. Once I took the pre-science program, I applied for it, but I didn't get it at the gave me parasitology and entomology. Of course, it's gonna go for that course, right? I mean, it's not a professional course. Duh. My dad would kill me if I took that. Nutrition and dietetics is a good course. Why not apply for it? So my mom applied on my behalf. A cousin of mine, Helped me that time apply for it. He so rest in peace, Nandi. I love him so much. He really helped me prepare for my second jam. At that time, he was studying medicine in UNS, so he helped. He was the one who called to tell me, You got in. So you're supposed to laugh, right? You're supposed to be so excited. Yay, finally, the third time's a charm. But it was the complete opposite. At this point, I broke down. I'll never forget. I was in the village once I received that call. I missed the network, you know, issues and all of that. He called, he's like, I just checked your results. Your name is there. I cried. I cried. I was like, God, why me? If I had applied for nutrition and dietetics 2012, obviously, I'd have gotten in. You know, I'd have gotten it. I was devastated. You know, you're supposed to be happy. And you're like, what's the point? I was bitter. I was really bitter and I cried. I, cr I was pained. I was gutted. I was sad. Words can express how I felt at that point in time. And I told my mom, I made her say, hey, look, like this is how things are right if things were this way then you know everything i'd have graduated at what 19 18 19 and now what age am i gonna graduate at you know i was sad i was really sad it was like i had my whole life planned out 
thinking now. I had my whole life. This is how I wanted things to go and things didn't go the way I wanted and I was just sad. My whole life was going to be altered by what had just happened. It's like, well, you know, you shouldn't dietetics a professional of course. So go for it okay and we'll see maybe this is what god's plan is you know? and i kind after crying for days and being bitter and not talking to anyone I'm like fine you know i had to remember jeremiah 29 verse 11 so this verse in the bible was what kept me going it actually kept me going because i just felt fine jesus take the wheel let's see where this goes i got into school that really affected me my first year. I wasn't interested in this course. Second year, wasn't interested. Third year, you're supposed to go on IT, on an industrial training, your second semester, third year, right? So I went, I worked in a hospital, did mine in Abuja. I'll never forget the first day I was sent to the ward with this girl who had chronic kidney disease. We saw her and the next day, learned she died. My first death ever. I was sad, I was devastated. How could you see someone in the hospital today and the next day the person is gone? You know, that event changed the way I saw the course. Would you believe that it was in my second semester, third year, that I felt like, okay, you know where I, well, I really like this clinical setting. Maybe I want to work in a clinical setting. Maybe I loved attending to patients, maybe I loved seeing people get better, maybe I loved having this impact on people and I decided, okay, maybe I really like this course. I loved going to the ward. Some of my colleagues be like, every time you go into the ward, you're going to see a but like, yeah. I'm constantly checking on my patients to know how they were doing. That's how I developed a little passion to keep me going. There was NYSC, I worked in a hospital in Abuja as well. So, that's my life's journey. I mentioned at the beginning, a lot of people have had it hard. God knows the plans he has for you. Some people stayed at home for five years, six years, seven years, and they just lost faith. What is life anyways? It was like, I was at my breaking point. You have this law of elasticity where it just gets to its breaking point. And then once it exceeds that point, that's the yielding point, and then it's just, that's the end, like there's no turning back. I almost got to that point, but God help me. The faith I had in God was what kept me going. God has been incredibly amazing. He's been guiding me so far. I don't know where you are right now and what it is you're going through. Just know it's going to be better. Trust in God. He's going to see you through. The faith you had, even though you have faith, it's little as a mustard seed. It's enough to move a mountain. It's definitely going to keep you going. You want to get married? you having marital problems, you feel you're stagnant, you're not moving forward, just trust in God, okay? I know it's not easy. The fact that you're alive is enough, that there is light at the end of the tunnel. So just keep going and I hope this video encourages someone out there. So if you got inspired by this video, do not forget to like subscribe if you want at this point i'm not really bothered i just really hope this makes you feel better and know that you can still move forward you can still do better you can still achieve your life's goals you can still achieve your life streams yeah so just share if you've been inspired i'm not where i want to be right now but i'm thankful for where i am and the fact that i'm still alive it's enough. I feel grateful. Thank you for listening and I will be seeing you in my next video. Bye.